Hi. So how did it go today? Uh, I think it went pretty good for me and also for the team, so I'm really happy with, with how today went. Okay, D how are you dealing with all of the trophies that you've won over the last year and all the special <laughs> awards? Like, is Grandpa Benny keeping all of them, or do you have them at home? No, I have them at home, but Grandpa Benny is really proud of me, so yeah. If you do really well this year, yeah. will he get another tattoo? I don't know. I haven't asked him. Maybe for the Olympics in Tokyo. I don't know. Okay. Um, Coming in as the reigning world champion on bars, do you feel like there's a different kind of pressure? Or does it feel like it did last year? Um, I think even last year there was a little bit of pressure on me because I was like double... European champion also won bronze in Montreal. So I think there was already a bit of pressure. It's, of course, it's different when you're defending your title, but yeah, I think it's just the pressure that I put on myself. Are you more nervous for the team or for yourself here? First for the team, because like team qualification for us now is, is our main goal. And then once we pass like qualifications, I can start focusing on myself. But first we need to make sure that the team qualifies. How different does this Olympics, I mean, you weren't you weren't a senior until 2016, right? Yeah, right. How different has this quad been compared to the lead up to Rio? Very different. I think um, like Rio was my first major competition as a senior, so for me it was really just about being there, enjoying enjoying the games, and I was there with like a different mindset than I'm right now. I think that like after the games, I really made a change in my head, like being from yeah, okay, it's it's nice to compete at such great competitions, but I want more than just compete there I also want to win medals and um, so that's what I've been trying to do this squad and um, yeah now also leading to Tokyo I think I'm gonna be standing there on in a different way that I was like three or four years ago have you let yourself think about what it would mean if you could be Olympic champion next year I'm dreaming about it like I think every athlete dreams of, of being like uh, Olympic medalist and even Olympic champion so I'm, I'm really working hard for that and we'll see what the future brings. Last very important question who on your team has the wildest story behind their floor routine? The wildest I, I think it will be Yada because like the lion and she I don't know like also when you get the music in such a big arena it's, it just sounds very very cool, I think. So, yeah, I really like that one. Cool. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>